Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of the video series. If you haven't seen the first part, please do check it out first, the link is given in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So previously, we created the main body parts. Now let's create the rest of the parts which are left. I will keep all the meshes in a layer and turn off the visibility of the layer. Now then, let's create this part. So here we have more clear view for this part. So I will create it over here, and later on will bring the same into its correct position. Let's start from the top with the oval ring-shaped structure. Create a torus and rotate it 90 degrees in x-axis. Position it over here, and now play with these settings and adjust the shape. Now create a cube, and bring it over here to match with this part. Now by holding shift key, right click, and apply smooth. Now go to face mode, select these bottom faces, deselect the top ones, then extrude them out, and make the bottom flat. After that, create some edge loops in between, to hold the shape while smoothing it out. Now then, apply smooth to this object, and then adjust the vertices, to give a proper cylindrical shape. Select this edge loop, and apply bevel on it. Turn off chamfer from here. And then tweak the shape, to match with the reference image. Now then, create a poly pipe. Rotate it 90 degrees in X axis. And position it over here. Now adjust the thickness from here. And then I will give 40 subdivisions to it, to match with the reference. Now scale it down and adjust the thickness, to match the inner circle. Now go to face mode, select these outer face loop. And then extrude them. And now, increase the thickness, something like that. And turn off this keep faces together, so that each face will open up, like this. After that, go to vertex mode, select all these vertices, deselect all the inner vertices. And then scale them from Z axis, like this. Now select these edge loops and apply bevel on them. Now select this edge and create an edge loop from the center. And now select these edges and press G key on your keyboard to repeat the last command. After that, select all these edge loops by holding shift key. Then apply bevel on them, and then increase the fractions, so that those edge loops move much close to each end simultaneously. And then again, do the same thing over here as well. And then create some edges in between. Now then, create a cube. But first I will keep these objects to the layer. And now tweak the vertices to match with the reference. Then extrude the face out and adjust the shape. And then, extrude out the side face from here, and tweak the vertices to match with the reference image.
Now select the front and back faces and straighten them. Create an edge loop from the side, then select these faces and extrude them out, and then tweak the vertices to match with the reference. And now create supporting edges wherever needed to hold the sharp edge. Now here, I will scale up the edges from both sides, and then adjust the other edges to give it more round and smooth shape. After that, go to face mode, select only these faces, and duplicate them. Now select this object and rotate it 90 degrees in Y axis and bring it up. And now delete all the unwanted edge loops. Then fill up this hole, and then connect the edge loops by multi-cut tool. After that, tweak the vertices to match with the reference image. And now, select the outer faces, and then extrude them out, and tweak the shape. Now from here, extrude out the top faces, make them straight, and tweak the shape. And now create supporting edges wherever needed. After that, create a cylinder, and then position it over here, in between these two objects, and then scale it down like this. Now select these two edges, and apply bevel on them, and then adjust the settings to give sharper edge to the cylinder. And then create some edge loops in between. After that, select all these objects, and press Ctrl G to group them together. And now, place it in the correct position, and then scale down the group, to match the reference image. Turn on the layer where the other models were kept, and then, move this group to the side and place it correctly. And now select all the objects and keep it in the layer and then hide them. And now, let's create this part with a cube. Now create edge loops in between and tweak the shape.
After that, keep all these objects in the layer and hide them. Now, create a cylinder to make the screws. Rotate it 90 degrees in X axis. Keep subdivision axis to 8 and subdivision caps to 2. Now delete the back faces and then go to edge mode, select these edge loops and apply bevel on them. Turn off chamfer and keep fractions like this. And now, select the outer edge ring, then hold shift right click and choose circularize components. It will distribute the edges in round shape. After that, select these faces and then extrude them inside. Now create supporting edges to hold the shape. After that, position it correctly and then press Ctrl D to duplicate and then place them in their correct positions. And now, create a cube to make this leather guard. Delete all the back faces and keep only one side. Then extrude out the edge and tweak the shape as per the reference image. After that, create an edge loop in the middle and one edge loops on each side like this. Now then connect these corners with multi-cut tool and then delete these edges. And now, position it correctly and then extrude it out to give some thickness. Then apply bevel on the side edges to hold the shape. And then, adjust the positions of each object so that they fit together. So this is it for the second part of this modeling series. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next part of the video series.